Hi guys and welcome back to another short electronics video. Today we're going to open up one of these Micronta SWR testers. Now this is a standing wave ratio tester that is normally used in radio communications to measure the degree of mismatch between a transmission line and its load. So normally the load would be an antenna that you have connected. So let's open this up and see what, what's inside. So it just has two screws here on the back. Okay, so now before we open it up, as you can see on the back it just has two inputs here. Uh, we have our transmission input and then our antenna input over on this side. Alright, let's open it up. Wow, okay. So there is definitely not a lot going on inside this housing. So we can see here there's a little PCB right here. And then that goes to a selector switch, either forward or reference. And then we have a potentiometer here. And that is just simply connected to the output display. Okay, so let's take a closer look. This PCB has three traces, three main traces that you can see. The one connecting the input and the output is actually our transmission line. And then we have two other traces, the one with the blue line, the one with the red line, and that's used to measure the forward and the reverse voltage. So that's actually in essence how an SWR meter works. It actually just looks at a difference between the forward and reverse voltages and then compares them. You'll also notice over on this side there are a couple of diodes here uh, which make sure that those voltages are going in the correct direction we need them to. Um, but other than that it's actually a very basic uh, system inside. Now let's see if we can take these connectors off and maybe we can actually take a closer look at that PCB. Okay, here we can see the PCB in a little bit closer detail. As you can see, we have a diode here, a little capacitor here, and a resistor. Same over here, we have a resistor, a diode, and a capacitor. Basically, those are used to um, trim the impedance of the forward and the reverse, the reverse sensing line, and to calibrate the device. Alright, so as you can see, an SWR meter there's not a lot going on inside. It's a very basic tool, but also an essential tool um, for radio operators and those who are uh, working with radio equipment. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it insightful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos.